Hi, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, and welcome to your tarot messages in today's reading. We'll take a look and see what the cards predict for you um, right now. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Okay, there is a bit of a disharmony, a bit of um, a misalignment, um, this out of sync kind of energy that's going on here. The lovers in reverse can point to a broken relationship or a broken connection, okay? Or something here that seems to indicate that the flow of a connection between you and your special person that has been unfortunately broken and has been interrupted by something maybe by a third by a third party situation or by something here um it can also point to relationship issues okay doesn't necessarily mean that this is a broken relationship but there could be some sort of relationship issues right now um a re the relationship that you have with yourself the relationship that you have maybe with connecting energies or with a romantic energy it also indicates some sort of separation so whether you might be separated from your romantic energy or you might be feeling some sort of emotional distance from your person or perhaps you are separated from you know your own self like um there's this disconnection between you and your higher self here and it's it does point to a bit of a challenging time right now, a disharmony, an imbalance, um, and also for a need for self-love as well. You could just find, I feel like right now, maybe you're finding that um, your relationship, not only like with connecting energies, but also with yourself needs a little bit more work or needs a little bit more extra time. Uh, it just feels like, it's signaling a time in your life where things are unfortunately misaligned or out of balance or out of sync as well. And you may be particularly finding that to be true, especially with a romantic energy. Okay, maybe you're just not on the same page. You want to be, but you guys maybe struggle with communication. You just struggle to get on the same page, let alone the same chapter, right? It just feels like maybe you guys no longer, you know share the same intentions or expectations for the connection something he has shifted and not necessarily in a good way as well um if this is someone whom you love and if this is someone that clearly loves you um, i do think this is a this energy that you're in this phase that you're in eventually it will pass okay but it does require that you you know bring How do I say this? It does require that at a time right now you be very patient with what's going on. Um, and all you can do right now is bring love to the situation, okay? All you can do right now is bring love and compassion to this situation that you're in. Um, I do feel like right now you have to honor yourself a little bit more, okay? I do feel like for a lot of you there's this need for you to focus on yourself a little bit more um, and I feel like some of you might be there's this sense of some of you it's almost like you want to love someone or someone wants to love you here but to me it just feels like someone is afraid okay there's this sense of I'm getting this sense of fear or even like even a bit of stubbornness as well it's just someone here is afraid of opening themselves up because they're afraid of getting hurt um, they're afraid of, you know, um, getting their heart broken. They're afraid of also hurting you in the process. What if they don't love you as, you know, as much as you deserve to be loved? What if they can't honor the relationship and the connection that you have? So it does feel like whoever this person that you're connected to, although you two right now are in this, maybe the separation stage, or maybe you're in this, you know, out of sync and out of alignment stage, it does feel like the love is still there. Things may have shifted, but 
I get this sense of in this energy of fear that has sort of come into this reading and it's I feel like what this fear is doing and I, I even feel like what the situation is doing is for the both of you okay whoever this person is that you're involved with whether it's a romantic energy or whether it's a connecting energy a sibling or a friend or a co-worker you know who this person is I feel like what the universe is asking for you to do and why you're being put in the situation is there's something about the situation where I feel like you have to open yourself up the both of you and you have to wake up and you kind of have to realize your own strengths okay you have to whatever it is that you perceive for other people to have and you admire you know maybe the strengths or the qualities in other people you have to realize that you have all of that in you too and maybe it's a time right now to really nurture that and apply that strength that you have you know um and especially that strength of character to this particular situation For some of you, there is a, um, there is this situation that I feel like you have to make a choice. Okay, some of you could be torn between two lovers. Some of you may be in love with someone who is in a relationship or is attached to someone else. Um, the lovers choice, the lovers card in reverse, is imploring you. Okay, it's inviting you to make a choice, but that choice, it can't be a selfish choice. Okay, it needs to be a choice that is most in alignment with your highest good. So if you want to choose something or someone, but it's at the expense of someone else, okay, or it's, you know, it might involve someone else getting hurt in the process, it potentially could also involve you getting hurt in the process. Perhaps that is not your best choice. You, and always remember that you have, a cho you have other choices, okay? You never don't just have the one choice. So whatever the situation that you're in, and I get it, it's a tricky situation and it feels like it's kind of sapping your strength, but you have to make a choice or a decision that is most in alignment with your higher self. And perhaps that's what got you into this situation in the first place. Making choices or decisions that don't necessarily align with your higher self, with your highest good. The other thing is, whatever it is that's creating this disharmony in between you and this person or this situation that you're in, it just may be that the conflict or that the war is with yourself, if that makes sense, okay? Well, the reason why I say that, I just want to circle back to that whole, you know, not being in alignment with your higher self. It indicates a disharmony and an imbalance and a struggle to create this inner union, okay, between you and your higher self. Um, you potentially could be punishing yourself for something that you've done and maybe for something that you feel you're responsible for. Um... I feel like right now, for some of you, you kind of have to return to the energy of the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is... And it feels like maybe there's someone around you who represents this energy. It is someone who is usually an older or a wiser figure whom you potentially do or could seek counsel from. You could seek guidance. Someone who acts like a spiritual mentor in your life. I feel like there's something here that tells me you and this person potentially could find a way for you or this situation to get back on track so let's just pull a few more cards and see what the next maybe couple of weeks or months might look like for you because it does feel like there's this disharmony and we want to get you back into a place where there's an energy of balance and harmony and peace okay so it Cards seem to be pointing to communication very strongly. Okay. Um, I like that the King of Swords has shown up for you because I feel like the King of Swords is what can... Ultimately, I feel like the King of Swords is what can put this situation to rest. Or the King of Swords is what... Um, his energy of honesty and transparency, okay... I feel like is inviting for you to have an honest conversation with with yourself or with the person that you're involved with okay so again in that conversation might go something a little like this like for instance 
if you're making choices or decisions, whatever those may be, and you know what they are because they're personal to you, right? They may not necessarily be in your highest good. So you need to get back into a place where, you know, you feel that sense of balance, where you feel a little bit more centered and you feel a little bit more in alignment with who you are and, what, you know, who it is that you want to be. There is this five of swords, the seven of swords. There is this sense of strong conflict in the energies. There is this sense of... Um, Especially with the Seven of Swords, I mean, some of you could be dealing in a situation in which you or someone here is not necessarily being faithful, okay, or not being truthful, or being a little bit deceptive or manipulative, or perhaps this is inner deception, okay, maybe you're the one that is the narrative, the narrative you tell yourself isn't entirely based on foundations of truth, okay, so it's all about getting back to basics, and there is some sort of I feel like a conversation here potentially could change everything for you, okay? Maybe not everything all at once, but it potentially could change everything for you. And look, this com conversation, this convo could be a little bit uncomfortable. It could expose truths that you, um, lies that you don't want to hear. It can mean that, you know, you might say something that might hurt them or they might say something that might hurt you. Not necessarily intention, intentionally, I don't think there's, you know, malice or malicious intent here. But I just think, you know, there's something here that I feel like needs to be brought out into the open. So you kind of need to work with two sides here. You you know, you need to work with your, your shadow side here. And so does your person. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye.